everyone, in the video, I want to go over how to set up your Thinkorswim, whether you're brand new or maybe you just want to get your layout looking kind of like what I have with multiple charts and such. So let's go ahead and click on this little notepad up here, and it will say uh, right here, right below On Demand. It's like a three-ring binder notepad thing. Let's go ahead and bring it over here, and let's go ahead and click on it right here. So right there, and my pointer's not working. Right here. All right, let's go ahead and click on it and click Reset. So it's gonna give me a blank chart, or literally nothing, I should say. And let's go ahead and put in a stock like NVIDIA. All right, there we go. So now I have a ticker up, but you can see this is the standard layout. So first, and it's gonna default to a daily chart. So first, let's go ahead and change some things, right? Um, this is really tight. And what I mean by that is, you know, there's really no room, right? And what if you're like here, you might not know if the stock is, you know, you're looking at the right time. So let's first go into our settings. And if we click on this little gear icon, it will say uh, chart setting. So let's go ahead and click on it. I'll get my Epic pin out so everyone can see it. And it's a little, kind of like a little uh, science uh, gear out here. Right there. Let's go ahead and click on that. Or pardon me, uh, uh, like a gear. That, the other one's a science speak, and that will be for your indicators. So right now, I want to do a few different things. One, it's going to take me to the general tab. I want to go to overlap volume. I don't want to have volume on a subgraph. It just takes up too much time on the chart. So let's go to overlap volume. Click apply. So now we have volume on the chart, right? So now we have volume. We, on the same graph as the upper study. Next thing I want to do, and volume's good to look at if you have the master indicator, it's a volume-based study, by the way. Next thing I want to do is go to time access. So I don't like how this is all crammed on the side. It's just not easy on the eyes. So I want to change that to 10. Click apply, and you see now I have a little wiggle room here. That's what I want. So I can see the forward time, right? We're pre-market right now, and I have a little wiggle room. Favorite time, you could just keep them standard. If you like maybe a three-minute chart, you can always add like a three-minute chart. All you would do is go to like uh, time period, intraday. Three minutes, okay. Usually five or 15 minute though, if you're, uh, you know, uh, uh, day trading or two is good. Click on appearance, that will just give you the candles if you want to get them filled and such. I don't think you have to do anything, or at least I don't. Next, when you go to equities, if you want pre-market data, what you'll do is you'll click show extended hours here. And if you want it highlighted, you see how it's like a different shade of gray? You can leave it. I personally don't really care too much for pre-market unless it's earnings or after hours. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this stuff off, okay? Click on Apply. And you see now, uh, Futures, I always do show extended hours if you're doing the E-minis. But now, you see how it's just cleaner, right? I don't have, like, the old data. Uh, if I want to go down to, like, let's say a three-minute chart, I can, right? It's just a little bit cleaner than having all that gray area and such. All right, so now we have a chart layout saved. And if we want to add indicators, all we want to do is go to Edit Studies. And let's say I want to add the master indicator. I already have it saved as a set. I can. And it's already up and running, right? So real simple. Whatever you saved it as, maybe you saved it as master indicator, the studies. Maybe you saved it as a set. Of course, if you have it, or Platform X if you want. And all you have to do is save it, click Apply, and you're good to go, right? And you see how volume, this is a volume-based study, so you don't really need this volume here if you don't want it, right? That's why I didn't want it on a subgraph. It just crams the charts too much. So now we have the chart all saved. It's all looking good. Yay, yay, yay. Looks good to me, right? All good in the neighborhood. But now, if I just want to save it one chart, I could just go to Save Workspace and put my, let's say, five minute chart or intraday chart, you know, whatever you want to save it and click save. But I want to add another chart. 
So what I'm going to do is click on this little square right here, or rectangle. Now I want to, let's say I want to add two charts, okay? Now you could save your grid as as well if you want to save just this, but let's say I want to add two charts. I'm just going to highlight over to the right, and you see now it gives me another window. If you have a watch list or any of this stuff, I don't like looking at all this on the same screen. So what I do personally is I just re-click on this and just make it small, little arrow right here. But now let's say I want to look at a stock like AMD. Oh no, I'm going right back to my same layout. So what you can do is, I think you can apply the same settings, um, but we're just gonna do it step by step. So first of all, if you don't see anything, make sure this chart box is clicked and highlighted right here. If not, it might give you like something like that where you get time and sales or active trader. I personally don't like looking at any of this, but you see how like I just clicked on a few different things and it's already looking weird right here in AMD, right? So let's go ahead and clean this up, right? I wanna make it look exactly like I did on my left side. So let's go back to our settings and you can see now I don't even see my little gear icon. Oh no, where's my gear icon and all that stuff? I lost it. So what I have to do is either I can expand it and it comes back, right? My, there's my little gear icon under chart settings or I can just right click maximize the cell and then I can go to restore once I'm done. So let's just go ahead and do that. Right click, maximize cell. Let's go ahead and do those same settings. So overlap volume under general, time access, 10 bars, click apply. Favorite time frames. it's already saved under three minutes if I want it. Equities, let's go ahead and take off after hours. There we go, should be good if I wanna apply let's say the master indicator or platform X. Let's just go ahead, I have it saved, platform X. Let's do platform X day trade. Boom, boom, right click, restore cells, boom. So I'm already done. If I want to link these two studies together, I can. Maybe I put them both red and what it will do is it will automatically link these two Maybe I want one on a daily chart, one on a five minute chart. So I can also click right here, symbol link, and make them both red. And then it will automatically display the chart on both of them. So now I have two charts set up. Uh-oh, I didn't overlap volume here. Let's go ahead and fix that really quick. There we go. Overlap volume under general tab. Oh, I think, oh. Whoops, I should overlap it. There we go, okay, and there we got it. So sometimes it'll be a little finicky, you just gotta go back and make sure the settings are the same. So now if I wanna save it, I'm gonna go ahead and click on uh, right here, save grid as, and I'm gonna save it as two charts. Save. Now, if I want to, let's say, populate it again, I can go to here. Uh, actually, you know what I can do is click on this gear icon, detach, and now it will pop up these charts again, but let's say I wanna save them, let me unlink them. Maybe I wanna put Apple and Coinbase on these. There I can. So now I could put these charts wherever, and I can just go ahead, do the same thing, detach, and I get two more charts. So I could just keep doing that if I wanna set up my monitors. And then however good my layout is I wanna keep, I'll go to this gear icon up top, save workspace, and we'll put Lance Toss Setup. Whatever you wanna save it as, feel free, click save. And then when you restart your Thinkorswim platform, it will automatically appear the way you want it, and you'll be good to go. Let me know if it helps for the option chain. Actually, we'll go over this real briefly. 
All you really need for the option chain is under the layout, volume, and open interests, about 14 to 20 strikes. So to do that, go to layout, volume, open interests, and that's really all you need. And you're pretty much good to go after that. Strikes, you could do 14. If you want to do 20, you could just type in 20 and there you go. And you'll be pretty much good to go there.